So if you're a programmer like me, or just someone who spends a lot of time in front of the computer, then I'm going to assume that your keyboard is one of the most used items on your desk. And for that reason, I think that you should have a good one. Something I tell everyone right away is when you're building a new computer, when you're setting up, make sure you have a nice keyboard. And that's because this will make a world of a difference when it comes to efficiency, and even just how much pleasure you're going to get when you sit down and start typing. I know personally, when I bought my new keyboards that were very nice, I was much more inclined to want to sit at my computer and do work, just because the experience was so much better. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my two favorite types of mechanical keyboards, and why I would recommend them to you. These keyboards have different key switches in them, and I'm going to go through and talk to you about the details and specs of those key switches, and why they're great for typing and programming. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about my two favorite types of mechanical keyboards. So I'll start by saying that there are many different keyboards and so many different types of key switches. The two that I'm covering here are typically the most popular. These are what people will highly recommend for typing and accuracy, and that's why I wanted to compare them because these are just the most popular switches and personally my favorite. So the first keyboard that I actually have to show you guys is this one. Now this is the DAS Keyboard 4 Professional with Cherry MX Blue switches. Now these are the clicky switches, I'll be showing you the audio and tactile feedback of these later on, but the next keyboard that I have is actually another DAS keyboard, this is the 4Q model that has the Cherry MX Brown switches inside of them. Now DAS Keyboard was actually nice enough to send me over this blue model here that I'm going to be giving away at the end of the video for the purpose of reviewing it and doing a comparison between the brown keyboard, which I actually bought myself uh, a while ago. So DAS Keyboard has personally been one of my favorite keyboard brands. The link to both of these products will be in the description down below. And again, thank you to them for sending over this keyboard and giving it away to one of you. And I will talk about how that giveaway is going to work at the end of the video. So before I go into the details of both of these keyboards, I'm going to give you a very basic definition of the way that a standard keyboard works versus a mechanical keyboard. Keep in mind, this is a generalization and just meant to give you a basic idea so you understand the advantages of a mechanical keyboard. So with a traditional keyboard, the system that is typically used is you have a layer of key switches, you have actually three layers of plastic membrane below that, and to signal a key press, you must connect the top layer of membrane with the bottom layer of membrane, where the middle layer of membrane is simply sat there to separate the two layers so that they aren't already touching. So what actually happens when you press a key is you will press that key and there'll be a little hole in the middle layer of membrane that allows something to go down through that hole and connect the top layer and the bottom layer. Again, this is a generalization, but at that point what will happen is an electrical circuit will be complete and a signal will be sent to the computer that says, hey, you pressed this key. Now the issue with this system is there's actually a limitation to the amount of key presses you can do per second, and that is, I believe, six on those types of systems. So you actually cannot send more than six key presses per second to your computer, which you could imagine might be an issue if you're gaming, if you're typing, if you're doing anything very quickly. For most people it's not, but if you get to that point you will realize that the keyboard is actually missing your keyboard hits. Now contrasting that with a mechanical keyboard, the way that a mechanical keyboard works, one of the ones that we have here, is it actually contains independent key switches for every single key. So in theory, you could use different key switches on your keyboard for different keys, so different brown, blue, whatever you want, and if a key switch breaks, you can simply replace that switch. Now the great thing with this too is that there's something called N key rollover um, that kind of gets implemented with that system, and what that means is there's no longer any limitation to how many keys you can press per second, because there's an independent switch for each key, and they're all independently sending that signal. Well, through the wire obviously, um, there's something called N key rollover that's a feature of most mechanical keyboards. So you have that, which is great, which means there's no limitation, you're not going to miss any key switches, and you also get something called tactile and audio feedback. So tactile feedback is the idea that when you press the key, you actually know that you pressed it because you can feel it with your finger. And you'll notice on a mechanical key switch that when you press it down, you can feel a point somewhere between the bottom out point and the top known as the actuation point. And at that point, you have officially pressed the key, even if it hasn't bottomed out and hit the bottom of the keyboard. This is why a lot of people love mechanical keyboards because the actuation point um, gives you that feedback that yes, I pressed this key, so it's a lot easier to actually type when you're looking at the screen in front of you, whereas on another keyboard you might actually miss pressing keys and whatever, stuff like that, right? It's just easier, tactile feedback feels a lot nicer when you're typing. 
So those are the major differences. Now I'm going to talk about the two key switches here that I'm comparing, which again is the blue key switch and the brown key switch, and I'll give you an audio example and kind of talk through the actuation point and the details of that. Okay, so now we're going to go into the details and the uh, kind of specifics and statistics of both of these keyboards, and specifically the key switches. So let's start with the Cherry MX Blue switch. So on the desk keyboard for professional, it has the Cherry MX Blue, and it even says on here, clicky typing experience. Now that is what the blues are really known for, is their clicky and tactile feedback. So clicky, I'll play the sound so you guys can hear it. that you hear a very loud click whenever you press those keys. It's one of the loudest keyboards by far that I've ever used. But what that also means is that it's way easier to determine when you've hit a key and get that tactile feedback. So the stats for this key switch um, in terms of actuation point and pressure is the actuation point is at 2.2 millimeters of travel, the bottom out point is at four millimeters, and you'll reach that actuation point with 50 grams of pressure. So if you put 50 grams of pressure down uh, on that key, then you'll hit the actuation point and you will press the key down. Now let's compare that to the brown keyboard. So the brown keyboard is a little bit different than this blue keyboard. They're very similar, but the main difference is this, this does not have that clicky experience. So I'll play the sounds so you guys can hear them. This keyboard has a much quieter sound. So it's still there, you can still definitely hear it, but it's more of a bump and a thud than it is a click like this blue keyboard. Now in terms of the actuation point in travel, uh, it's very similar to the blue. This has a actuation point at two millimeters and that requires 45 grams of pressure to reach. And then it bottoms out at four millimeters as well and it's also rated at 50 million key presses as its lifespan. So they're very similar, but the massive difference between the two is that it's a little bit easier to hit this brown keyboard here to hit the switches and press them down than it is the blue, and that the blue keyboard that I have here is much louder. So I'll do the audio comparison with you guys so that you can hear the difference, and then we'll talk more about them. So as you would have noticed, both of them definitely have a very loud sound to them. You can definitely hear them quite clearly, but the blue is definitely much louder. And in my opinion, I would say a little bit more annoying. It has that more clicky sound, although some people really do like that sound. Now, personally for me, I am more of a fan of this brown keyboard. Now I like the brown because I don't like to have to press down that hard. And on the blue, I find that I have to hit the key um, much harder to actually trigger, which is weird because the pressure is very similar, but I guess I'm just so used to the brown that when I use this blue, I'm noticing that um, I'm hitting the key a little bit harder. I have to push it down harder and that's kind of slowing me down. The one thing I will say though, is that when I go from a brown to a blue, I notice that I'm more accurate on the blue keyboard. The reason for that, I believe, is because of the fact that I have to press the key down harder. That means that I have to be a lot more um, kind of distinct and decisive when I'm hitting that key, and I don't often notice myself hitting the side of a key and triggering the keys around it, which is a big issue for myself personally when I'm typing. I'll make those typos just by accidentally hitting kind of in between the key. With this one, since the pressure is greater, it's a lot harder to make that mistake, but I definitely do go a little bit slower than on the brown keyboard. So that's kind of the two big differences between these keyboards. The brown is a little bit lighter. Most people like the brown more for typing, also just because of the sound on it, it's a lot quieter. Uh, but a lot of people like this blue, especially if you're someone who makes uh, quite a few typos, this is gonna force you to really be um, distinct when you press those keys down. 
So in summary, we talked about the blue switches and the brown switches. Now these switches are very similar, but they do have a few differences, which I'll just summarize here. So the blue is a little bit heavier to press down. It's a little bit louder. It has that clicky sound to it. Whereas the browns are a little bit lighter, not by much, a little bit lighter. They're not nearly as loud and they have more of a thump or kind of a dud to the press. Now these are both great options. I'm confident that you're not gonna be disappointed if you get either of these keyboards or any keyboard that has these switches inside of them. And I hope that this gave you the knowledge you need to go out and pick your next keyboard. All right, so now let's go through the steps to enter the giveaway to win this DAS keyboard for a professional with the Cherry MX Blue switches. This is a very nice keyboard. This is a professional keyboard. It does not have RGB, but it's still a great option and is worth almost 200 US dollars. So to enter this giveaway, make sure you follow these steps exactly. I will be confirming that you are at least subscribed to my channel and follow these steps, uh, or I just won't pick you. So how you can enter the giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below that says the words giveaway somewhere in it and has either your Instagram handle, Twitter handle, Discord handle, or email. Now, I don't wanna encourage you to put your email there if you don't want to, but if you don't have any of those options and you still want to enter, that is fine, I will send you an email. Now, make sure if you put your Twitter or Instagram handle or something like that, that you check your messages as you might be the winner. And approximately a week from today, I will reach out to whoever the winner is. I'll just randomly select someone and we will coordinate how I'm gonna ship this keyboard to you. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you to Das Keyboard for sending me this model and good luck to all of you on winning the giveaway.